Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Doing a beer that I reviewed way back in 2010 when I was in the Navy Reserves. I was in Key West, Florida. This one's called Holy Mackerel Special Belgian Style Golden Ale. And the brewery is called Holy Mackerel Small Batch Beers. All right, so I am going to be fancy and pour it into the Spiegel uh, tulip glass. They're calling it a golden ale, and that is more of a orange, you know? Uh, almost looks like a double or imperial IPA. Usually, Belgian golden ales are more actual golden, you know, kind of like, you know, amber at the worst. Um, very cloudy. That could be age, could be yeast sediment in the bottle. I think it's, it's, uh, it's bottle condition, so that might account for it. Get a bit of a foam on there, but nothing huge. Oh yeah, this is, um, I can tell this is old. <laughs> it smells like caramel, butterscotch. Don't really get, well, I do get kind of Belgian yeast character on here. Yeah, so I get kind of like butterscotch, um, just classic oxidation notes. Slight Belgian-y um, yeast esters and phenols, maybe like Maybe banana bread or something. To me, it smells almost more like a, like a Dunkelweizen or like a Weizenbach than anything like Lefe or, you know, like actually we just did a Tuesday night beer school on uh, Belgian uh, blonde slash golden ale. And this, this doesn't really smell. I get a little bit of apple cider on here too. So I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really impressed off the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. Um, that is either extremely under attenuated or actually, I think that's, I think that's what it is. I think it's just a really under attenuated beer. That is like the sweetest Belgian beer I can ever recall. Like even if it's old and I suspect that it is old, it shouldn't be like super sweet. They actually make a point of saying, like on the website, in fact, let me bring that up. Uh, unfiltered and pasteurized and with just a hint of spice beer is meant to be savored slowly so as to enjoy the aroma as well as the taste. Vintage dated will mellow with two years of age. Well, there's no there's no vintage dating on this. I was looking at some pictures online. Like they actually used to put the year like right on the label, but I don't see a year. I don't see bottling date. I don't see anything on here. So I don't know what's going on with this beer. It seems almost more like a triple as the base brew than a, a Belgian blonde because it is like so malty, so caramelly. <laughs> I've never seen like this much caramel and sweetness in a beer. Logan wants a, a snack. I'm drinking beer, dude. Hang on. So, I mean, yeah, I do get the, the some of those Belgian phenols. It's a little spicy, a little like clove or uh, ginger almost like a pumpkin kind of beer again kind of very uh butterscotch or caramel and you know and they're saying that you know since this is bottle condition and it's a belgian beer and it's 8.5 bbv and they even said right on the website that it can age with, for two years so it's not like it's an ipa or some kind of light lager that you gotta drink fresh so if they're saying you can drink this old fine by me but this is this is not what i would consider a belgian golden ale or I'm trying to think of like what beer I've had. It's like so this this much caramel. Um, a lot of like the British Browns or like a British barley wine. Yeah, um, not quite as sweet as a JW Lee's, but um, kind of in that ballpark. It does kind of remind me a little bit of like a Weizenbach. I'm sure if there's you know a lot of most Belgian golden ales or whatever you call them are, you know, they throw like a little bit of weed in there. Usually, it depends on the brewery. Um, yeah, not really impressed with this. Although I will say like it is, it's tasty because it's so sweet. It's like a liquid candy bar. But to the, the style guidelines, it is not even close. Like if I was judging this at a homebrew competition, this would be hmm, like 20 to 25. And I am getting a little bit of the apple cider Definitely oxidized, maybe like a little infected. 
Um, yeah, so I'm not really impressed with this beer. By the way, mouthfeel on this is actually pretty, I'd probably call it like medium full, like almost like a, mm, definitely a smooth texture. I don't want to go as far as say creamy, but it is really soft and smooth. Carbonation, I'd probably put about moderately high, maybe straight up high. I think well, probably moderately high because I think you think it's lost a little CO2 over the year or years, however old this bottle is. And it's weird, they, they changed it to Special. It used to be called, just called Special. So I guess they're trying to be fancy now, or maybe with some kind of trademark infringement or something. Who knows? Yeah, so this one's okay, um, but I, w I wouldn't be in a rush to buy it again. I would like to, if I could try it fresh at the brewery or the tap room, um, it might be a different story. But as for now, yeah, sorry, Holy Mackerel, Special, Golden Ale. Kind of lame. Um, probably I'll probably give it like two and a half. So if you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Tuesday Night Beer School. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.